Alright, so let's get into the tutorial. I already primed my eye with ELF's eyelid primer. It's just like this, and this is in um, sheer. And then I went ahead and applied my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Milk. Actually, I didn't apply that yet. I don't know why I just said I did. I'm kind of used to um, doing the same routine all the time, so I kind of got jumbled up. So you're going to apply that. Um, you don't have to apply that. You can actually, if you can find this, it's Elf's Eyelid Primer in Pearl, and it's white. And um, it kind of brings out the white shadows that you're going to use. But I just like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil a lot. So I'm just going to apply that. Just blend it out with your finger. We're just going to keep this on the eyelid for now. Um, and then I'm going to use um, Elf's Mineral Eyeshadows in Angelic. I don't want to flip it over because the lid's not on. But they come in these little um, containers like this. And the color is very, um, very, very light white it's kind of sheer and it's very glittery so i'm just going to take that with a um shader brush by elf i'm just going to get some of that tap up any excess and actually i recommend doing this um before you put your foundation on because you will have fallout so i'm just going to take that and then i'm going to start patting it onto my lid and you can see it's very very shimmery and glittery so we're just going to pat this, really kind of focusing on the inner corner because that's where the white color is going to be mostly at. So just like that, kind of bring it up right here. Now if you're a little bit more daring than me, you can bring this up to your brow bone, but I find that it's a little bit too shimmery for my brow bone, so I don't want it to, um, to go that crazy. But for the brow bone, I'm going to use my Maybelline New York Stylish Smokes and Amethyst Smokes. And I'm going to use um, this white color right there. And it's more of a, a matte white. So I'm just going to take out the same brush. And then I'm just going to put this as our highlight. Just to kind of tone it down a little bit. This one does have some shimmer in it, but it's really subtle. Alrighty, so next color I'm going to be using is the color um, Smoldering by e.l.f. And it's kind of like a gray color, it looks just like this. And um, I'm going to take the same brush we've been using, a little shader brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of that, top of any excess. And then I'm just going to start putting this on the other half of my eye. So kind of stopping in the middle. gonna pat that where I want it and then you can kind of flip your brush over to blend the two colors together you need to take a little bit more of that white color and then kind of go back and forth to blend the line and then we can take this kind of up into our crease to start getting that definition in there see I already have a bunch of glitter under I don't even know if you can see it on the camera, but it's, there's so much glitter right here. So you can just keep um, adding some of that to um, get the desired amount that you want. And now we're going to go with the black kind of color. This is, I believe it's called Seductive. And this is black, but I don't actually, I don't know. It kind of looks like a dark gray, like an even darker gray but I think it is black. And then I'm going to take an angle brush. This is by e.l.f. as well. And I'm just going to get a tiny bit of that to just really work it into the brush and then tap off the excess. And then we're going to go from our outer corner right here and then we're going to go up, kind of just making a line. Just gently patting that on there. And then we can kind of bring it in like this. And then go up into the crease. Really work it through the outer lash line. See how I already have that kind of cat eye shape? That's kind of what we want. But this eye, it's kind of blended out, so we'll have to blend that out. So just keep working that through. 
And now I'm going to take a, um, if I can find it. Oh, this is not a drugstore blending brush, but I just couldn't resist not using it. It's my favorite. It's just the Bare Minerals. And I'm just going to take that and just blend out the top line. Just so there's no harsh lines. Oops, I'm not even in the frame. My bad. Okay, then of course you can go back with, um, if I can, oh, I keep losing things. Um, go back with the second gray color and then just dab over that line and then go back with the white color and then just dab more on top of that just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more. And, um, it's going to look just like that. Now, um, I'm going to get my liquid eyeliner, and this is by Revlon. This is the Color Stay Eyeliner in black, and it looks like a marker. It's a felt tip liner, and I'm just going to do my basic eyeliner. It's kind of just a little cat winged out eyeliner. I'm going to start in the middle, and then go ahead and work on my little wing I like. And this um, eye shape is really flattering on everyone. It's just a matter of finding out how to do it and how to work for your eye shape. Because there's many different techniques that you can use to make it look really well on your eye. So you just have to play around. So we're not going to have a bunch of eyeliner in the inner corner. I want to kind of keep this bright. So we're just going to get a little bit of that as close to the lash line as possible. And then start making it a little bigger in the middle of the eye. And then just bring it out a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take um, this little angled brush. And you can get the same black we used or um, get a different black. I'm just going to use a black that's in this. It's kind of glittery. And I'm going to take that angle brush, get some of that black, and then I'm just going to kind of go over the liner. Just to really deepen that up. And then you can kind of bring it up a little bit further if you want to. And out. Like that. And then just a final blend, blend, blend. And then, um... This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to take a little bit of the white color we used and I'm going to put this under the eye, like on the lower lash line. If it helps, you can put the um, cream eyeshadow on, the NYX July pencil, if you want to, to really um, bring that white out. But this white works pretty well, so I don't need that under the... Um, lash line. And then I'm just going to take the second gray color we use and put it on the outer corner. And kind of bring it up with that wing we have. And if you can tell on um, this eye, I did apply some gray eyeliner or silver, but um, it's not drugstore. I have two that, um, one is from Sephora. And then one is from Urban Decay, and I use the Urban Decay one. But um, I'm sure you can get these anywhere for cheap. Um, I think Revlon might sell a silver one. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to take that. And then I'm going to get some of that white color. I know this is a lot of steps. I'm sorry. And just gently pat it down to lock it in. All right, so I'm going to go curl my eyelashes, and then I'm going to apply one coat of my favorite mascara. It's the Maybelline Colossal, and then the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I'm going to apply two coats of this one. So I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back with my mascara, and my hair is done. I made a tutorial on how to do this, so if you're interested in how to do this, look, then um, go watch that video. And um, I just want to say something. If you want to apply like fake eyelashes, then go ahead. That'll probably look really great with this look. If not, then you can get really big lashes with just lots of coats of mascara. So 
just want to say that. So actually I'm going to show you what I use for my face. I um, think it's kind of important what you use on your face for prom. But I use Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream by Garnier Fructis. Wait, this is not Fructis. I think Fructis is just the hair stuff. I'm just used to saying that. So this is just Garnier. And it's in light medium. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but um, a little bit better. And for a concealer, I just use my Kimmel Quad by Costa Sense. And for a powder, I use L'Oreal True Match. So like that. For blush, I used Bare Minerals Optimus, which an alternative um, blush you could use if you want to go cheaper is Elf's Blush in Pink Passion. So that's really pretty. Looks just like that. And now I'm going to show you how to do my lips. I just use Baby Lips just to kind of soften my lips up. And now I'm going to use a. Um, Lip liner. This is by NYX and Beige, and it's um kind of like skin tone color. And I'm just gonna line kind of out of my natural lip line, kind of make my lips look a little bit bigger. I really like this lip liner because you can do a lot of things with it and it's not crazy because it kind of just looks natural. Okay, so now you have a couple of alternatives on what you could do. You could go with a light pink lip gloss. This is by NYX as well. It looks just like that. Or you could do a really kind of neutral, um, this is almost like a brown color. This is by Too Faced. It's not um, a drugstore brand. But I think I'm just going to go with this because I don't want to take away from the eyes. So I'm going to get some of that and put this on my lips. Really focusing more on the center of the lips to make them look a bit more poutier. Alrighty, here's the finished look. I hope you guys tried this out and I hope you guys have a wonderful prom. Let me know if you went to prom and if so, how was it? And if you tried this look, let me know. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.